after five weeks of testimony from more than 45 witnesses, R. Kelly was found guilty in court on Monday. That's one of R. Kelly's attorneys after a federal jury in Brooklyn handed out the guilty verdict. To the victims in this case, your voices were heard and justice was finally served. Real name Robert Sylvester Kelly, the singer faced one count of racketeering, a federal charge that focuses on organized criminal activity and the collective enterprise of individuals carrying out the illegal activity. According to the initial indictment, the enterprise in this case includes Kelly, as well as his managers, bodyguards, drivers, and others. Kelly was also found guilty of eight violations of the Mann Act, a federal law that prohibits sex trafficking. The charges date back decades and involve six complaining witnesses. Since first being indicted by a grand jury in 2019, Kelly has maintained his innocence on all charges. I have pursued many sexual predators who have committed crimes against women and children. Of all the predators that I have pursued, however, Mr. Kelly is the worst. Kelly's defense team called five witnesses, while federal prosecutors ended up calling 45 witnesses to the stand. One of these witnesses, a former tour manager for Kelly, testified that fake IDs were used to clear way for him to marry a then 15-year-old Aaliyah. Prosecutors said that Kelly wanted to use a marriage to shield himself from criminal charges. Aaliyah was one of eight people who later died in a plane crash in 2001. Another witness told the court that Kelly prevented her from watching the documentary series Surviving R. Kelly, as well as intimidating her into covering for Kelly during his 2019 sit-down with Gail King. I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this shit. I gave y'all 30 years of my fucking crib. Robert. 30 years of my crib. Y'all trying to kill me. Sentencing for Kelly is currently set for May 4th. He's facing potentially decades in prison. Kelly is still facing additional charges in Illinois and Minnesota.